Parents and educators, do you know the best and worst social media apps for young people's mental health? Well, I want to show you a report that describes the negative effects of social media. RSPH and the Young Health Movement have published a new report called Hashtag Status of Mind, examining the positive and negative effects of social media on young people's health. And it includes a list of social media platforms according to their impact on young people's mental health. And I'd like to show that report to you right now. Here's some teen social media stats. 91% of 16 to 24 year olds use the internet for social media and social networking. Social media use is linked with increased rates of anxiety, depression, and poor sleep. Social media has been described as more addictive than cigarettes and alcohol. Here's a list of the best and worst social media apps for teens' mental health according to this report. On the best side, it's YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, and worst is Instagram and Snapchat. Now is a great time to consider joining Parent University to get videos you can watch with your kids so they will learn how to be safe and smart online. You can learn more at smartsocial.com. Now let's look at a list of potential negative effects of social media. First, let's look at anxiety and depression. Research suggests that young people who spend more than two hours per day on social media are more likely to report poor mental health, including psychological distress and symptoms of anxiety and or depression. Next is sleep. Numerous studies have shown that increased social media use has a significant association with poor sleep quality in young people. Using phones, laptops, and tablets at night before bed is also linked with poor quality sleep. Body image. Body image is an issue for many young people, both male and female. Studies have shown that when women in their teens and early 20s view Facebook for only a short period of time, body image concerns are higher compared to non-users. Cyberbullying. Bullying during childhood is a major risk factor for a number of issues, including mental health, education, and social relationships, with long lasting effects often carried right through to adulthood. FOMO, or the fear of missing out. FOMO has been robustly linked to higher levels of social media engagement, meaning that the more an individual uses social media, the more they are likely to experience FOMO. Now let's look at some of the potential positive effects of social media in this report. Access to expert health information. Social networking offers young people who may be suffering from mental health issues an opportunity to read, watch, or listen to and understand the health experiences of others, relating them back to their own reality. Another positive is emotional support. Conversations on social media can emerge and provide young people with essential interactions to overcome difficult health issues, particularly when they may not have access to that support face to face. Also community building. The community building aspect of social media is also distinctly positive for many young people. By joining groups or pages, young people can surround themselves with like-minded people and share their thoughts or concerns. Next is self-expression. Self-expression and self-identity are important aspects of development throughout the teen years. Social media can act as an effective platform for positive self-expression, letting teens put forward their best self. And you've heard us talk a lot about how to shine online using your real name so that someday you're planning for your dream college, dream career, or dream internship. And that, we believe, is a big part of this. Building upon relationships. There is evidence to suggest that strong adolescent friendships can be enhanced by social media interaction, allowing young people to create stronger bonds with people they already know. Now, what can parents do? Well, teach your students that social media can and should be utilized as a tool for good. Ensure your children are equipped with the relevant skills to be able to navigate social media. Consider joining Parent University to start a healthy dialogue with your kids. Remind your students that they can always come to you or a trusted adult in their circle if they ever need help. And when you're ready for your child to be online, read our parent app guide page on smartsocial.com to learn how teens can use social media safely and learn which apps are in our green zone. In addition, consider joining Parent University to get videos you can watch with your children. These videos will start a healthy dialogue that will keep them safe and smart online. You can click the link in the upper left to learn more about Parent University. Remember to subscribe in the upper right. Click on one of the videos in the middle of the screen to learn more about keeping your kids safe and smart on the web. I'm Josh Oaks with SmartSocial.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep it light, bright, and polite. Have a great day.